One of the things that we believe in as Muslims is that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to do something, all He says is be and that thing is done. إِنَّمَا أَمْرُهُ إِذَا أَرَادَ شَيْئًا أَنْ يَقُولَ لَهُ كُنْ فَيَكُونَ Be and it becomes. Whether that is creating something, whether that is getting something done, decreeing any command, any affair, all he says is be and it's done. This is the glory, this is the might, this is how exalted Allah is. In these verses from Surah Luqman, so verse number 27, 28, 29, let's look at, take a look at one particular thing here. It says, مَا خَلْقُكُمْ Your creation. وَلَا بَعَثُكُمْ And your resurrection. إِلَّا كَنَفْسٍ wahida Will not be, but as that of a single soul. إِنَّ اللَّهَ سَمِيُنْ بَصِيرٌ Absolutely, no doubt about it, that Allah is hearing and seeing. What's interesting to note here is that the creation comes from the command of Allah, which comes from His word, kun. So the creation is from the word, kun. That's the word of Allah, correct? And likewise, the resurrection, also, whenever He wills to resurrect, on the day of judgment, when everybody will be brought back from dead, it will also be a command that will come from His word, kun. So both the resurrection and the creation come from the word of Allah. Come from the word of Allah. So they are nafs kanafsin wahida. They are the same thing. For some for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to create out of nothingness and to resurrect after death. Rather, to resurrect after death. For him is the same thing because all it takes to create and all it takes to resurrect is the word of Allah. Kun. That's the level of glory and might and that's how exalted Allah is. Now, if you look at the words before, this, get, this is where it gets really interesting. He says that if whatever trees upon the earth were pence, all the trees on the earth were turned into pence, and the sea was ink, this, uh, the oceans, imagine them being put together and it's a huge pot of ink. Replenished thereafter by seven more seas. They are constantly refilled. As they keep running out, they're constantly refilled. This huge pot of ink. If all of that was used to write the words of Allah, ma nafidat kalimatullah, the words of Allah would not be exhausted. And this is because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creates from His word kun and resurrects from His word kun. So you look at how many things are created. You know, how many babies are born, how many uh, trees shed leaves, and then they're replaced. The animals, just absolutely uncountable. So the creation of Allah happens from His word, and He creates, and He creates, and He creates. Man nafidat kalimat of Allah, the words of Allah subhanahu wa will not be exhausted. And likewise, the resurrection will also happen from the words of Allah. So this is how... It's tied together. These two ayat are tied together. Kalimatullah. The creation and the resurrection come from the words of from the word of Allah. So they are tied together in this context. SubhanAllah. What's interesting after this is that the verse after, verse number 29, gets a little bit more interesting. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to show us one particular uh, aspect of his creation. The sun and the moon, Shams and Qabr. Okay? And he says, Alam Tara, don't don't you see? He actually asks a question. Do you not see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created the, the sun and the moon for you? Uh, in fact, rather have you not do you not see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala causes the day uh, rather the night to enter the day and the day to enter the night? And Wasakhara Shamsa wal Qamr and he has put the sun and the moon at your service. He points out to particularly the sun and the moon. Then he says, "Kullu yajri ila ajalim musamma." Each running its course ila ajalim musamma. Correct. So the the sun and the moon 
they are the creation the creation of Allah. Correct? Part of the creation of Allah. And then he mentions very interestingly, Kulnu Yajidi ila ajali musamma. Even though these are great creations, they're not gonna last forever. They're gonna last only up to a certain day, and that is gonna be the day when everybody is resurrected. Ajalin Musamma. So he brings it back to the concept of creation and resurrection. Even the next ayah, when he talks about some of his signs, he brings it back, first the creation, and then the resurrection. Ties it back to this ayah. This ayah, he says, your creation and your resurrection is just like the same thing to Allah, because they're both from the word of Allah. Ties it back to the ayah before. The words of Allah will never be exhausted. <laughs>